Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you all a certain setting on your PS4 that I've noticed a lot of users have set incorrectly. And I've also seen several people comment about this in my comment section in the past, so I figured I would show you when and why you should change this setting on your PS4. So the setting in question we are talking about today is the RGB range in your video output settings. Now by default from the factory, this is set to automatic, but one of the biggest mistakes that I see from a lot of users is they choose to set it to the full setting just because they think it's better. When in reality, a lot of users shouldn't even be using the full setting. So today I'm gonna to show you all a very simple way to choose which RGB setting you should be using on your PS4. Now a very good rule of thumb is you should only be changing the setting if your monitor or your TV allows you to manually adjust the color space. So for example, on my monitor, 16 to 235 is limited and zero to 255 being full. Now, if your TV or monitor does not allow you to change the setting, you need to leave it on automatic on your PS4. Otherwise, your black levels and whites are going to be completely off from what they are supposed to be. So, for example, if I want to use full RGB on my PS4, I need to first change the setting on my monitor to 0 to 255. And then in my PS4, I need to change it from automatic to full. That is how you properly set your PS4 to full RGB. Now the same is if I want to use a limited RGB range, I would select limited on my PS4 and then change the setting on my monitor to 16 to 235. And that is how you properly set your PS4 to limited RGB. And again, if for some reason your TV or monitor does not allow you to manually adjust the color space, you need to leave it on automatic on your PS4. Now for some of the techie individuals watching this video, you may already know this and it could be common sense. But believe it or not, I see so many people just selecting full on their PS4 without knowing if that's even the correct setting that they should be using with their television or monitor. So there you guys have it. I hope that you found this video useful and you found it educational. If you did, leave a like rating, comment below to tell me what you think, and subscribe, ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.